This song is called Satisfied with Life, and it's by George M. Cohan, whose statue is in Times Square. Usually when I'd see his statue in Times Square over there by TKTS, there's a pigeon sometimes sitting on his head. Do you remember that statue? Michael, Michael goes to see Broadway shows all the time. And uh, George M. Cohan is famous for uh, being the Yankee Doodle Dandy, so you may know uh, George M. Cohan. Uh, this... Um, this song was uh, used in a, in a musical in the 1980s, the early 80s, called Ten Types. And uh, several years later, uh, in San Marcos, Texas, I just graduated from Texas State University, and there used to be a, an amusement park there called Aqua Arena Springs. And they did an outdoor summer musical that year, my, the year I graduated in 1988, and they did Ten Types and cast me in this role of the immigrant who comes across the Atlantic Ocean to New York City for a new life in America. So this is the song that he sings, Satisfied with Life by George M. Cohan. How seldom will you meet a man as through this world you go. A man, I mean, who's satisfied with life. He may be blessed with wealth, but where's his health? Oh, don't you know? His fight for millions brings him care and strife. The king, both great and grand, who has a land at his command, will want his flag to reach another shore. Ah, this life we lead is greed, though there are some things I need. If I had them, I would ask for nothing more. And all I want is fifty million dollars and sealskins to protect me from the cold. If I only knew how stocks would go on Wall Street, and was living in a mansion built of gold. If the Vanderbilts would let me spend their money, if I only had an heiress for a wife, if I only stood it with the steel trust break off, then I know that I'd be satisfied with life. All I want is partridge for my breakfast, a champagne fountain sprinkling at my feet, and Pierpont Morgan waiting on the table. Yes, and Seuss's band are playing while I eat. Ta -ra -ta -ta -ta. If I only owned the Western Union cable, if Hetty Green would only be my wife. If I only owned the Pennsylvania Railroad, <laughs> then I know that I'd be satisfied with life.